Music is Lisa Burns' passion. She's the stand-up bass player there on the right, but she's always struggled with hearing loss. In 2010, it started getting worse. I woke up one morning and everything was really quiet, which was scary. She tried two prior sets of hearing aids, but they didn't work for her. That's when her doctors recommended ear lens. And it was one of the best decisions I've ever made. Um, it's ch totally changed my world. Ear lens is different from any hearing aid on the market because it gives access to a full range of sound from very low frequency, 100 hertz, up to very high frequency, 10,000 hertz. Two days later, I went to Beethoven's Ninth and I sat in the audience and cried. Standard hearing aids capture sound and amplify it through a tiny speaker. EarLens says it's the first hearing aid to include a custom lens that is placed onto the eardrum. The receiver then sends it pulses of energy that make the lens vibrate. The company's CTO, Dr. Drew Dundas, claims the design allows for a much broader audio range that allows people to hear music and conversations twice as well as other aids. Realizing that we could drive that middle ear system, activate the natural hearing structures without having to do surgery, really was the aha moment that allowed us to get this technology pulled together and onto patients. So why doesn't everyone use them? Price. The ear lens costs around $12,000, including evaluations by a doctor. That's several thousand dollars more than other top-of-the-line hearing aids. And if you have too much hearing damage, it might not work for you. For Lisa Burns, it's been worth it. Her bandmates say her playing and her singing is better than ever. I just came back from a music festival where I was on stage singing a song I wrote with this amazing backing band. That would never have happened without Ireland's. Ian Cole, NBC Bay Area News.